Aloha, it's Pastor Keith, and I am in my church office here for this morning prayer for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Yep, we're at Christ Lutheran Church, and uh, I think you can see me okay. Yeah, I'm a little shaded on the one side there, but okay. Well, we're reading from this shady guy named Jeremiah who is always saying shade is going to come down on, on Judah for their idolatry. He was called the weeping prophet, and uh, a Jeremiad was always uh, something uh, like a, a prophetic critique or denouncement of all the sinners that were running around the prophet. Yeah, but here, about 33 chapters into Jeremiah, he begins to uh, offer a little uh, hope. 33, verse 10. Thus says the Lord, in this place of which you say, it is a waste without human beings or animals, in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without inhabitants, human or animal, there shall once more be heard the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voices of those who sing as they bring thank offerings to the house of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. He's quoting a psalm there. For, for I will restore the fortunes of the land as at first, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in this place that is a waste, without human beings or animals, and in all its towns there shall again be pasture for shepherds restoring their flocks. In the towns of the hill country, of the Shephelah and of the Negev and in the land of Benjamin, the places around Jerusalem and in all the towns of Judah, flocks shall again pass under the hands of the one who counts them, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will live in safety. And this is the name by which it will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. See, there in the middle of the wasteland with no human beings or animals, yeah, Judah has been destroyed by the Babylonians, and Jeremiah said, there will be a return. A remnant of you, good news, a remnant of you will come back. And what does he say? I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David. Because of God's steadfast love, God's kesed, he will rescue Israel from Egyptian bondage in Babylonia. And it will be the righteousness of our Lord. Hope that makes sense. I kind of like Jeremiah, especially when he's in the midst of everything going wrong, he has a word of hope. Cling to that. In the midst of crucifixions, cling to hope. E pule, kako. Lord Christ, you came into the world as one of us and suffered as we do. As we go through the trials of life, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things, that we have no secrets from you, and that your loving grace enfolds us for eternity. In the security of your embrace, we pray all these things. Amen. And now may the God who goes with us all the way to our crosses bless you, keep you, and guide you throughout this day. Amen. See you tomorrow.